Hi, you're in the bees. Oh. Hi. So, I'm in a bad way. <laughs> My back has decided to give out. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it's not good. Hope you guys can hear me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much today. Uh, I probably shouldn't even be here, but I don't have a choice. But the renovations and everything just did me in. So I really should be laying down for the next week um, with painkillers and stuff, but I can't do that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try and make the best of it. Um, I'm gonna, I have people here that can help me if I need it, but they've gotta run their own shops, right? My sister's working, George is working, so it's all, all about me. So how are you guys doing? What do you think? Ow, bad idea. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. I've got lots of positive feedback, so that's good. Um, now it's a matter of trying to get all the other stuff together. Um, my yarn order will be here in a few days, and um, and that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. So now I gotta think up different classes and um, I want to do a gift basket <clears throat> and do like a for every ten dollars bought in the store you get a ticket and you put it in the box for a big gift basket so now I'm gonna try and get that together don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet an amica room probably a pickle <laughs> Blasted pickles. Oh, say, having said that, uh, I've had a couple people ask me if I have a pattern for that pickle. Um, I have my pattern, but I don't have it written out as a pattern yet. So I'll get on that. Um, I don't have my computer here, so I can't do it while I'm here. But um, it's not going to take long to to print up. It's not a very big pattern. So I'll, I'll get on that. Maybe when I'm home and relaxing, <clears throat> I'll be able to, to do that. Um, what else? I don't know. I can't think. I'm on painkillers right now, so yay me. <laughs> Just relax the set. Um, I can't take anything else. I'm allergic to everything, all the narcotics, all the good stuff. I'm allergic to it, so. Cold turkey. Yay! <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit when I have something else to talk about. <laughs> okay, bye! I just thought of something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. I made a bat. When I was making this, I was thinking about Heather the Crochet Witch, because she loves bats. So, I, I don't know if I showed you guys part of this or not, but I think I put it on my social media. So, <laughs> the wings. So cute. Look at the colors. I just love these colors. So, yeah. And then the eyes, purple eyes to go with. I told you I'm to make home sick. Hold that thought. Okay, it's always something here. <laughs> These shop owners, they make me laugh all the time. They're kind of strange. They're a little weird. <clears throat> um, so anyways, this bat. Uh, mine's got a little fat chin. <laughs> like he's yeah, really pudgy. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm hoping it's gonna, I'm, I know it's gonna sell. Anyways, the pattern is from Crochet Grove. Um, it's on Etsy. Here, I'll show you. Hang on. Oh. 
Okay, this one's hers. Crochet Grove. Um, she has like a bunch of different ones that she, like she did it in different yarns and stuff. Or maybe these, these are her testers. But they're really cute. See where I'm poking here. I'm like, look at that. That's so adorable. <clears throat> so anyway, it's um <clears throat> it's $7.71. But you know, I mean that's expensive for a pattern, but you know what? That one's got fangs. I didn't put fangs on mine. I I didn't yeah, I put a mouth on it, but I didn't put fangs on it. This one, I don't think, oops, sorry. This one doesn't have a mouth or fangs. So I think those other ones are from pattern testers. But it's adorable. I just, and it's it's an easy pattern. It really is. It's not hard at all. Oops. Um, <clears throat> it's just the putting together. Like the, the body and the head are all one piece. So the only thing that you have to do is the ears and the wings to put them on. And that's not very hard. She did her ears differently than I did because she had had you carrying your yarn to make these. I'm not good at that. So I just made this as a separate piece. I just made a triangle and sewed it on. That's all I did. But these, it's all one piece, right? So um, I think it's cute. What do you guys think? have to see if it sells today. Here's hoping. Hi yarn and bees. How are you today? Okay, so I think in my other video clip you you saw me at the shop and I was saying that my back was a mess. Yeah. Right after that I had to close my shop for the next day. Uh, and then today is Monday, so it's my regular day off. But, yeah, my back is hooped. And not in a good way. Um, <clears throat> it's radiated from the lower part of my back down to my tailbone. So sitting really hurts. As long as I don't move, I'm good. Uh, I'm hopped up on Robaxa set right now. So forgive me. <laughs> Um, but, you know, I, it's not all bad because like, even though I had to close up the shop for a day, uh, I'm getting crochet done, which is something I haven't been able to do in a while. But the pro the projects that I need to get finished that are customers, um, orders, I can't do right now because we are at the beginning of a massive heat wave. Um, <clears throat> it's it's hot it's really hot but we have like there, there's a big wind that's going through but it's a hot wind uh so i can't have any of that stuff on me and i'm sweating anyways without the heat wave because i don't know what's happening if i'm getting my hot flashes back or what's going on but yeah so um i I'm making some amigurumi stuff. I bought a pattern on Etsy. Sorry, I, I look a mess, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I bought a pattern on Etsy. I'll leave the link down below. But it's for an ice cream oxalotl. And I am in the process of starting the pattern. I've got almost all the pieces done. I, I'm waiting for some more safety eyes to come. Uh, they should be here today sometime because <clears throat> I forgot my safety eyes at work. <laughs> Yay. So I had to order some more and uh, yeah, so I've got three amigurumi things that I'm working on. I'm doing a fat cat for an order. I got to do a couple of fat cats anyway uh, and I have no eyes. So there's that. So I'm waiting for those eyes to come so I can finish those and finish this ice cream oxalotl. 
uh, it's a, I can't show you a picture of the pattern because you know copyright and all that but I will leave the link down below <clears throat> I'm doing kind of a rocky road ice cream kind of oxalot it's in browns and beiges and blacks so um, I'm hoping it's gonna turn out okay and my plan is is that we have an ice cream shop in the market that we're in and so I'm hoping to be able to put I'm not there's like the oxalotl and then there's a little ice cream cone that he's holding that's an oxalotl ice cream cone it's really cute so I'm not gonna make the ice cream cone part uh, what I'm gonna do is leave the oxalotl's hands open and th give the girls at the ice cream parlor um, the option to put cards in between his hands that say you know try this flavor today or have you thought of this flavor or you know something like that along those lines and then have the oxalotl sitting uh, at the ice cream parlor like we they've got like the cabinet with the ice cream buckets inside so I'm hoping that they're gonna put it right there and maybe put my cards with it so I think it's gonna be cute it was you know we'll see if I get it done and um, put up there, then I'll take a picture of that and show it to you guys. But I'll show you the, the oxalotl when I'm finished anyway. Um, so I kind of have been wanting to make blueberries. Amagurumi blueberries for a while. I figured they'd be really easy and cute. And like, I don't know why people have an obsession with food. Like amigurumi food I don't know <clears throat> but this is one thing that I thought would be you know the pickles are going so fast and now I don't have the yarn I'm waiting for the yarn to show up so that I could go teach my niece how to do them and uh and then she can help me get my pickle army together <laughs> so but in the meantime I wanted something quick and easy that I could do to put on my stand so I thought blueberries would be an easy one. Um, all the patterns that I, oh, excuse me. Mm. Mm. All the patterns that I have seen or the tutorials that I've seen, I didn't like the way they did the tops. Um, and I haven't found one yet that I, I really kind of liked. So I kind of did my own thing which is an extra step because the the ones that are out there are no so I think and but I don't know I'm I, I don't know I'm, hopefully I'll find one that I can actually because I couldn't understand the pattern like when it came to all the the bumpy parts on the top I could not understand what they were talking about so I just did my own thing so now I've got my little blueberry army started so here's my blueberry, one blueberry. Here's another. And, whoop. Oh. <laughs> okay. And there's another one. So I've got my, my little blueberries here. And uh, I'm going to be making some more. You know, I've got um, the big ball of yarn and this I mean, it's not showing up on camera, but this is a beautiful color of blue. Um, and it's the Chenille Home Slim. Okay. And the colorway is navy. But it's a really deep navy. It's like a jewel tone, and I really, really love it. Um, so, I mean, these guys are really cute. But what I did was I made the ball... And then I, I went in afterwards and just did, I did um, a chain three, then I slip stitched into the next one, chain three, slip stitched into the next one. And I just kind of went around in, in the circle. And I think they turned out okay. So, because the other ones, it's like they do the bumps and then they go back in and they gather. And I, I just, I don't know. It just looked really funny to me. <clears throat> so... I just went in and did it that way. 
Uh, also, I can't remember the video that I watched, whose video it was, but they were saying that Joann's had a sale on bamboo yarn. Okay, so, and it was like a dollar a skein. And I was like, yes! So I thought that would be perfect for the shop. <laughs> I should have known better. Oh, God, that's heavy. This is this is how big the bag is. And yeah, it's, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I bought quite a bit. And that's how big the skeins are. So this is um, Knob Hill Yarns and it's Bamboo Breeze. It is really soft. I will give it that. It is really soft. But it, it says it's a fine two. Yeah, it's really thin. It'll be great for knitters, I guess. But it is really soft. Um, it's 50% cotton, 50% rayon. Uh, rayon from bamboo and it says it's 118 meters 129 yards that's quite a bit in this but again it's it's fine uh, fine too so but the dollar skein in u.s for canadians it's probably two two dollars or whatever so i don't know but I bought a lot of it. Um, I bought this color. Oh, this color is not even on here. They didn't put the color on here. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, well, I bought that color and that color. And then I got oops, that color. So, and I got a lot of it. So I'm hoping that they are going to like it for whatever reason. See, I got 10 of each color, but it doesn't give a color, color, num uh, color number or color of any sort. So, but anyway, oh, so I got that and that's something I'm going to have to get put in the shop. I have a, my big yarn order is coming, um, I'm hoping tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or Wednesday it's going to be here. And then I have to wait until my sister comes into the shop. I, I think she said she's going to come on Wednesday. Um, by the time you see this, this will be coming out on Tuesday. So maybe by the time you see this, it'll, no, it won't be here yet. But anyway, my next video, I, it will be the opening of the yarn and uh, I'll be able to show it to you. So, yeah. That's all I have, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. As soon as I can get my back in working order, we'll be golden. <laughs> so, anyways. Okay, guys. I'm going to talk to you guys later. And I love you all. And thanks for your support. Don't forget to do all the things. Subscribe. Like share, whatever, all that. <laughs> okay. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.